What's up guys, Sarah Benzium here for another video and as usual I'm here with my good friend Ty. Lately on my channel we've been focusing a lot on the leg drag. I always like to do things in segments so you guys can actually take the knowledge and try and implement it. I think sometimes short-winded technique videos that are just one video at a time make it a little difficult to really understand the position so I like to give you guys a little taste of how you can do things from certain positions and how you can take these things and implement them in your game. So. Today we're going to be looking at some submissions from the leg drag. We're going to be focusing on the Estima Lock and the Ezekiel Choke. One of them is a submission that you can utilize prior to passing with the leg drag and in the scramble, and the other is going to be once we've already solidified a good leg drag. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So traditionally the Estima Lock is taught attacking the far side leg. So for example, if I'm passing to my opponent's left side, my left side, his right, I would be attacking his left leg. So if I'm here like this, I'd be attacking this leg, right? He brings it in, I come here, and I get the Estima Lock. The Estima Lock has been my favorite submission, or lower body submission, I should say, for a long time because I think it's quick, I think it's extremely effective, and I started implementing it from here about a year or two ago, and I've had a lot of success with it, so I wanted to share. Basically, we're going to start in the De La Hiva position. I made a video on the leg drag from De La Hiva. If you haven't seen that, check the link in the description. And what we're going to do is we're going to try to get the leg drag. But assuming we're going against a good guy, his instinct is going to be to draw his knee back. As he draws his knee back, if I'm able to get good timing, I can effectively catch his heel and I can do the Estima Lock on the same side leg that I'm passing. So again, the traditional Estima is on the far side leg. The one we're going to be looking at is on the same side leg. So again, I'm here in De La Hiva, and what I'm going to do is pull his leg across and then he pulls it back. Just like that. That's where I can get my timing for this position. So let's say I come here and I drag. If I feel he's going to pull his leg back, my left hand is going to come underneath and be ready. As he pulls back, I catch it. I need to squat low. I catch his foot the top of it right in my chest. If it's in your stomach, that's okay, that's fine, that might even be better, but I always do it on my chest, being honest with you guys, I don't want to sugarcoat anything. And I catch it just like this. So his Achilles is in the crook of my elbow, the top of his foot is like right on my chest, on my sternum area, like so. And I keep this super snug. Now, very quickly I lock up a rear naked choke grip, and the finishing mechanics are a little different. I'm going to turn my body to my left hand, like this. Right, so I'm going to pull his foot up this way and make his foot do this. Simultaneously as I turn like this, as my left elbow cuts across my left hand side, the right part of my body goes down, so I'm using opposing forces to really get torque on his foot. So again, I'm here and I do this. And man, it comes on really quickly. It's something that in the academy, I almost don't advise you to do because you, there's only one speed, right? If I'm here with Ty, we're, we're rolling, I do this, he pulls back. I get his foot and I get it right here, right? Once you get that grip locked up and you get any part of the top of his foot in this general vicinity, he's in danger. I think this one's also a little bit more difficult for your partner to escape. With the traditional Estima Lock, some guys that are really good with their timing, they'll start to invert and stuff and start to come underneath you, yeah, like this, and it can make it a little bit more difficult. So this one is the one I have much more success with, success with, and I think it's because it's sneaky. So again, I'm here, I drag, he pulls back, I get his foot here, and then I bring it up like this. Now, there's a second variation to the finishing mechanics that I definitely don't advise you doing in your academy, and it's even hard to display. Ty and I were drilling it before I even filmed this, and it's falling into the Estima Lock. So finishing the Estima Lock in a traditional Ashigrami position like this. When you fall, at the same time that you're falling to the mat, 
your body's putting so much pressure on his foot that he taps in the transition. Ty's being a good partner here, and he wanted me to be able to demonstrate it, so he's allowing me to do it. So it looks like this. I get here, maybe I haven't finished it, so I'm gonna sit to my butt, and as I do, my left foot is gonna come to his hip like this, and I sit in, and I finish here. Right, I had to loosen a lot of pressure, so I obviously don't wanna hurt my partner, and it takes a lot of control. But when you actually just sit into it, and really apply all the pressure while you're sitting, it's brutal. It's brutal. So let's change the angle. Let's look at it from open guard. I'm here like this, right? I grab his foot. I drag it across. He pulls back. I get to here. Even if it's deep, I'm still going to apply right here. Guys, when you understand the mechanics of the finish, you can do this from so many different places. Right? Sometimes I'm in the Toriano. I throw his leg by. He pulls back. And I get his foot. I just adjust. And I finish. And it's a very low risk position. Honestly, the most common reaction that I have partners do is they push their foot back into the leg drag. So if I'm here, he pushes his foot forward like so, and then I leg drag anyways. It's all about just being able to get there. So one more time, let's come this way. The position is, let's say we're in De La Hiva. I come here, I drag as he pulls his foot back. I catch here, rear naked choke grip, Hand on top of the shin, turn his foot. You really want to feel the knuckles of his toes on your chest. So that's our first submission, guys. Second submission is going to happen when we're already in the leg drag. And it's going to be an Ezekiel. So let's go, let's turn this way. So guys, let's say I drag his leg across. I'm in my leg drag position. Again, if you're not familiar with the basics and the control of this position, Check the link in the description. But guys, very important here is my right foot. See how I can control my partner's leg? It's because I'm hooking. How am I hooking? I hook right around his calf and then my right knee is turning in. Right, this is all my basics video. My elbow's in front of his knee and I'm in the leg drag. This foot's out for base. Very common reaction is that he underhooks with his left hand in this position. Just like this, and it's not a bad reaction. Because what does Ty want to do? He wants to pull our foot through and attack the knee bar or go to 50-50. So I can't let him do that. As long as my hook is good, when he underhooks with his left hand, he tries to pull, pull as hard as he wants, it's never going to come through. But what, what does this give me an opportunity to do? He's locking himself in a bad position, and this is giving me an opportunity to take my right hand, the hand that was previously in front of his elbow, and bring it in between his elbow and his quad. So in between this space, I'm going to sneak my hand in here like this. Sometimes even if he's tight here, I just come through. And then look, I'm going to hug past his head, past his shoulder. Don't stop short. You want your hand to be free. I want to be able to see my thumb. That's very important. If I stop short, it's going to be hard for me to finish this position. Now, once I'm here, I can obviously apply cross face pressure and I can break his grip on my leg. But furthermore, I want to connect my moves. I don't want to just break his grip on my leg. I want to submit him. So I'm here, and I'm going to keep my head tight. I'm going to keep my head tight to his shoulder so he doesn't pull his elbow back. Now, right away, I'm going to grab four fingers in my sleeve. Four fingers in my sleeve, like so. And I start to apply right here. I bring my, my hand over, and then look, I'm going to take a big leap with my left knee. And I'm going to bring it up his back. My left knee is going to come up his back, like so. Right? You guys see that? So I could see my hand. It's very important that you see your hand. I grab four fingers in my sleeve. My left hand gets into the Ezekiel position. You can finish the Ezekiel with a fist. You can finish it with like a karate chop hand. I'm like this. And now look, my left knee takes that big step up. It slides up his back like a pillow so he can't turn back into me. It's very important that I do this, like this. Now he can't turn back into me. Because my knee, see how tight it is? It's parallel with his back, and he can no longer get his shoulder back to the mat. So I'm here, again, I'm here like this. I'm driving all my pressure this way to keep this shoulder off the mat. I'm nice and tight, and then look, the knee slides up the mat. And now to finish, guys, I push my hand down as I pull my right one up. But I don't, a lot of people with the Ezekiel try to finish, and they posture up too much like this. Try to keep low and apply the same pressure. So stay low and like this. Now, guys, 
if I get this leg out, I can come all the way to the side and I can keep my chest behind his shoulder on my toes so that I can push into my opponent. And then I can finish a myriad of ways. I can come forward, step my right hook in, pull him to me, and finish in like a bow and arrow position. So here. Or I can just finish from right here without stepping in. Or I can step this leg up a little more. It's going to be on you how you guys want to finish the position. So I want to show you guys from a different angle. But man, you can apply this position from side control, from full mount. It's one of my favorite positions. You can apply it when you're already on someone's back. But the way that I learned it and the way that I hit it most often is from the leg drag. So again, we were here. I drag my partner's leg. I come down. I'm hooked tight. My right leg's hooked tight. I'm almost angled with him so that I can keep this hook with my right leg tight. Let's turn. I want to keep this hook really tight. All right, he tries to pull through. He pulls as hard as he wants. My hook should be super firm. So let's turn again. So I'm here. Let's turn a little bit more. All right? I see this space between his elbow and knee. It's very important I get the right space. Even if he's not underhooking my leg and I see this space, I can come here. My chest slides up his ribs. My head is controlling his shoulder. I get my grip. I start to threaten the Ezekiel. I finished it from here before. My left knee slides up his back and acts as a pillow so that he can no longer place his shoulder on the mat. My knee is at his head and I can finish here. Or I can come off this way, on my toes, I step in, right, nice and tight, I pull him to me, and I can finish right here. There's a bunch of ways, guys. But anyways, these are two of my favorite submissions when I'm really trying to use my leg drag game. I hope you enjoy them. You can implement them from different places. It doesn't have to be the leg drag. They're pretty versatile. So if you like the content, Please like and subscribe. Always, guys. Thanks so much.